And here's how you can do it. Um, whatever version of Outlook you're in, you've got the four boxes that are all ticked. The default setting is that they are all ticked. And you just change the defaults by going in and unticking those boxes. And that will remove the alerts. Simple as that. And that way you're not getting the sound, you're not getting the little envelope in the corner, you're not getting the little pop-up that fades away. You're blissfully ignorant of when the email arrives because you have got a designated time that you will attend to it with full focus. And you'll get through it much quicker when you have full focus. When we finished up, I said, listen, it's been a month since we had the workshop. What's the single biggest difference that the workshop's made for you? And she said, turning off those alerts. I've got so much more time. Because with the alerts being on and being interrupted, you're multitasking, things take longer. It's quicker. <laughs> it's clean. Any other rules that people use that we should know about? One of the most important ones that I uh, help people with is the CC rule. Who, who gets CC email? Yep. Is CC email urgent? No. Does it require you to do something or is it just background information? It's just background reading. So what you can do is set up a rule that any time you're CC'd, it goes into a CC, or you might call it a reading folder, and you can get to that at a time that suits you. And it segregates out from the inbox the emails that you have to pay attention to and take action on from those that you can just read as background and catch up with when you get the chance. One of the keys is to handle each email message only once. Who thinks you're kidding, aren't you? Who thinks that's possible? Who, who'd really like to know how to do that? <laughs> Handle each message only once. See, your time's too valuable, isn't it, to look at an email more than once? We need to get smart and have a process that allows us to look at it once and move it on. Make it. With email, there's only four possible decisions. There's only one of four possible things that you do. And the first one is your favourite. What's that? <laughs> to ditch it or delete it. You know, you've already got a Rolex, so I don't need those ads. Um, I've stopped playing stock market since I lost the money in the GFC. Don't need those emails. Um, not using Viagra, uh, so well, not yet. So I don't need those. And you can ditch or delete them. In fact, you can even set up rules to automatically delete some in way. So the email comes in, and there's an action that you need to take or a response that you need to make. And you can do this in less than two minutes. So the rule of thumb is the two-minute rule. If you can take the next action in two minutes or less, it's quicker to do it now than the time it takes to now store it, keep track of it, retrieve it, read it, think about it, make a decision and do it later. Make that decision. The second possible decision is this will take more than two minutes. When am I going to get to it? This is the do it later one you're talking about. We should convert that email into a, and make it a task or a calendar item. Does anybody know how to do this? Does anybody do it now? This is where the power lies in using Outlook. For most of us, we have a few key appointments in calendar and we've got this never-ending rolling to-do list called the... However, who's got too many in their inbox now to get to zero in one sitting of 20 or 30 minutes? <laughs>